just like that, hackers, we are live. Howdy, howdy. So good to see y'all. Super excited to be here today. We'll go ahead and get started in just a minute or two. Like I mentioned, we are, hi, hello. Let me go ahead and drop the check-in link into the chat so we can go ahead and get started. Hello, hello. All of you lovely folks, happy to see you here. And we'll like I mentioned in the Discord literally just a few seconds ago, we are going to be jumping into part one of this stream. We're going to be building some mobile apps with natural language processing tools and resources and everything. And I'm really excited to get started. I'm really excited for this topic. I think we're going to have a grand old time. Let's get my notebook out. The notebook's coming back for additional usage, as I'm sure you know. And then we'll get that thing out there. And then let's get a nice little pen going. This one will do. Perfect. And then we will go ahead and get started. I say we just jump right in. You know, it's it's a new day. It's a new and exciting Global Hack Week, uh, for me at least. I know you've all been here for a couple of days now. Cecilia and I were talking about it earlier. Uh, but it's a new new topic for me, a new stream being offered by yours truly. And I think we're going to have a great time. So let me go ahead and uh, share my screen here. So we're going to go ahead and share my GitHub screen right on here. We're going to jump into my profile real quick. I'll go ahead and get it set up in just a second. I can also take this time to customize my pins. We'll remove the book app and we'll add in Cherify. Perfect. There we go. And here we are. Welcome into our screen. Ah, yes. We've got some questions in the chat. I'm going to be answering them throughout. I like to make my stream super interactive. So if you're like, oh gosh, what is happening? I don't know what's going on. Do not fret. We'll make our stream super interactive. So we've got our first question of the day. What environment do you do we use? We'll be using Xcode for this stream, I think. Um, but we might dabble around with Kotlin in some of the later parts. And then link for GitHub, please. But of course, coming right up. Oh, perfect. Ah. Uh, Welcome back for all of you who are here and good afternoon indeed. I'm excited to be here. You're excited to hopefully be here. I think we'll have a grand old time. So let's go ahead and open up. We'll go ahead and clone this project. I'm just trying to double check here when I last worked on it and where I placed it because I do not remember. So I might just go ahead and open up a terminal window and yeah, you know what? We'll do that. So go ahead and open up a terminal window if it lets me drag it over. Come on, let me, ah, what it is? I'm probably in big screen mode here. We'll want to change that. Please don't drag my terminal over. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We're going to expand out this as well. Make sure it's nice and large. And let me get my terminal up as well. There's my terminal. Um, we'll be opening Xcode. Yeah, so... Let me go ahead and CD into maybe a documents folder or something. That's okay. We'll we'll be jumping in together. You can go ahead and clone from the repository. Um, you can follow along. You can work with me. We can just kind of learn. Yes, you should try and install Xcode if you can. Um, so we're going to go ahead and it is available on Macs only, just a heads up. Um, but if not, you can just kind of follow along in VS Code too, if you'd like, or you can just come and hang out with me. Yes, I. Oh wait, y'all are only seeing the repository. That's unfortunate. Hold on. Let me swap some settings here. Screen window. Ah, that should do it. How about that? That's better. Cool. And then we're gonna go ahead and do git clone my repository name here. Oh, it already exists. Is that where I put it last time? That's really funny. Oops. No, we don't want to look at that. We're going to drag that over here. Just in case. We don't want to see all my photos, my random ethics um, textbook. I think we'll pass on that. Let's go to documents then. So go documents. Ah, yes. And ironically, it is the only project in here. So I'm going to go ahead and move that to trash real quick. 
and then try that again. Perfect, we'll clone into Cheerify and then we will go ahead and open up Xcode here. I'll show that off. For Xcode, you have to have a Mac um, because it's iOS native development and so everything lives in, within one ecosystem. That being said, you are more than welcome to, oh shoot, are we gonna have to install things? Oh, not today. Well, I guess it's fine. Vision Kit, well, we'll worry about Vision Kit a different day. Go ahead and drag that down here. So I can type in my password. Y'all cannot see that, and that's good. Yeah, so as I was saying, in order to use Xcode, you have to have a Mac. That being said, you are more than welcome to use Xcode, um, not use Xcode. Um, you're still pretty much going to be able to follow everything. Your ID is just going to look a little bit different. Um, and also, we've already got like a fully set up application here. So you are more than welcome to stick around and use that as well. So I guess we're going to be installing Xcode for a second, which is slightly unfortunate. Um, we might need to give her a minute to make up her mind and see what we'll do. Oh, no, great. Okay, so Ah, because the simulators are going to take a while to download. That's fine then. We'll go ahead and open up Cheerify while these simulators are uh, downloading in the background. So I won't be able to fully show off the application um, because this is normally where simulators load. Um, as it's saying, it's it's downloading iOS 17.2. So we'll go ahead and actually just drag this out here so we can keep a little eye on it super quick. Um, just keep it in the top left corner for us. I just have it stay on top, maybe? There we go, we'll keep it like that. Um, and so yeah, it'll be just about 11% and then we'll be able to take a look at the application. But actually in our Cheerify Android repository, from what I remember, we've actually got a different, um, kind of a better, yeah, you can use any other IDE um, for, like Visual Studio Code will work perfectly fine. Um, but yeah, so Cheerify Android, we made, um, an Android app with a sister iOS app connected to an open source affirmation API showing positive affirmations for a user. Um, so we'll get to take a look at it in some more details really, really soon. We're at right about 25% downloaded here. So that's a good start. Um, in the meantime, I kind of want to walk through, you know, some of the features, what extension for VS code? That's a great question. Um. I haven't used VS Code for Xcode development in a while, so I'll get you an answer. Yeah, it looks like there's a Swift extension for Visual Studio Code. Yeah, looks like there's a there's an extension. Um, you won't be able to build the project. That being said, you'll be helpful, able to do that. Yeah, I'll write it out. Give me one second. Looks like it's cool. Unfortunately, it does not. That is kind of the biggest issue here and also the biggest issue for like developing. So you won't be able to compile so the only way you can build, um, and this is, you know, like a conversation for a different time slash like various different reasonings behind it. But the only way you can build and compile an iOS, Mac OS, um, you know, TV OS, watch OS, or even now Vision Pro OS app or Vision OS app is by having a Mac to do that compilation process. Um, that being said, if you would like to follow along and just code along and kind of see as I'm doing it, the official name of the extension, there is a Swift extension for Visual Studio Code is the official one that um, is mentioned in the Swift documentation. So that was me personally the one that I would go with. Uh, I've personally never had to develop in Visual Studio Code with it, with um, out a Mac just because I've you know, always either had access to one, even when it was in my primary computer, like I would have school Mac on which I would make iOS apps. So I'm, I'm not super familiar with the workflow. Um, that being said, I do know at least following along is possible because we've done it for some of my other streams. Um, 
but I do appreciate y'all asking all of these helpful questions. So I think what will help when we load up the application is kind of getting a view of our vision um, and what we sort of have in mind. And I think that will really help us a lot in determining what we want to proceed with. Um, I got to turn the music back on. We'll go ahead and do that real quick. So let's do that. answer your question i you know i can't agree or disagree with you here uh, it is what it is um there's a couple of reasons behind it uh from like a technical perspective or from a non-technical perspective too um so well that's not necessarily true you can develop iphone apps with react native with flutter with cross-platform frameworks right um even like with like isn't kotlin coming out with like a kotlin for or I, I don't know. But anyway, there's cross-platform frameworks, but you can't actually compile those builds even when you're testing for iPhone apps. Um, so you'll have, always see when, you know, um, mobile users are, are running cross-platform on Windows, they're always testing on Android apps, um, which is which is very fun. Uh, well, not very fun. It's it's just the way that it, it is. It's, it's the way that things have been made and it's the cards that we've been dealt. So we can kind of make the most of it that way. That being said, we'll, ah, yes, I un unhooked my my cable here from getting these things to charge. So we'll go ahead and give it, we're almost there, friends. We're at like 99, 99% done now. And I want to show off the app to kind of tell you what I really see it doing, like kind of the vision behind it um, and how we're going to incorporate natural language processing into this thing, because I think it'll be really fun. Yeah, I, here's the thing. I don't like, I, it's not that I don't like Flutter um, or React Native. It's not my favorite to work with. I've done a variety of different streams where I've worked with Flutter. Um, like I made a tic-tac-toe game for another workshop, uh, worked with some other like Flutter tools and technologies with React Native more extensively. Just didn't really enjoy my experience there, which is unfortunate but okay it's not installed i know it's installing give me a second give me a second my friend we'll see it i would have ideally set this up earlier today but i've been running back and forth through multiple things and just came back from a hackathon too so uh we'll go ahead and give it a few minutes to get settled uh i have to turn off the stream part of this here we'll go ahead and You'll get to look at me for another minute or two. Um, unfortunate for y'all. Um, you know what? I'm gonna call like a five minute break. Um, let my ID here figure things out. We'll be right back. I'm gonna go get some water too. I just realized I like normally have a big bottle of water next to me and I forgot to grab it, which is super annoying. So we'll be right back. In the meantime, ask any questions in the chat. And then while I'm kind of getting things semi set up some more i want to hear about uh one of your other favorite global happy streams that you've been to oh my goodness wait is it working oh i think it just installed sweet okay either way uh i'm gonna let it um like load up for a second or two and it will be right back i'm gonna go and get some water I did mention I'll be right back and I meant right back. Here's my water, my friends, awesome. Let's go ahead and, oh yes, I did mention an Android repo. That is a great, great point. So this is from when, in, during Global Hack Week. Yeah, awesome, thank you for grabbing it. Um, I'll paste it too, you know, make myself feel great. Um, that being said, like I mentioned, we did during Global Hack Week Beginners, we ran this technical track that I did where we built the same app in iOS and Android primary. 
Um, the reason why I did that, at least for me, was because I've been making iOS apps for, I think at this point, six or seven years, more than that, honestly. Oh, started in 2015. So yeah, we're, we're, we're going on nine, right? And I, I took a break or two and a half, maybe almost even three during COVID. And you know, I'm still in school and I do other things. So it's not like I've been developing iOS apps for nine years straight. That being said, you know, I, I just had a lot more exposure with it and Android I started learning last semester um, in August. So I wanted to show a little bit um, how it's different for me now that I know iOS and can do things relatively quickly and how that process differs um, on Android, um, at least for me, even when developing the same thing. Thought it would be a fun little stream for beginners week and we did it and I loved it. And so I hope to come back to Purify Android in the future. I think it'll be really fun. Uh, yeah, and just as I mentioned, you're welcome to fork and star these repositories. Uh, fork lets you keep your own copy. Star lets you kind of see all of my updates. Same with watching and unwatching. I actually don't know the difference between starring and un and watching. Um, I think one sends you notifications. The other one is like kind of like love and providing positive vibes to users um, or the, the people who own the repository. But let's go ahead and jump right in. So um, some technical difficulties here. I, I've been having technical difficulties all day though. So maybe nothing new, but let's go ahead and show off our Cheerify. So this is an iOS native app, like I mentioned earlier, that has um, been made during Global Hack Week's Be Global Hack Week beginners, and so it has a ton of different um, tools and resources and helpful things, um, and kind of is a great framework I think for us for the next three parts of the stream to really focus on the AI and ML concepts that I want to that I kind of want to work through, which is you know natural la language processing. So I'll talk through each one of these files and give you a brief overview of our project. So in affirmations, we have a structure. Um, that is effectively just storing at this point an affirmation string. Um, eventually, it will also have, um, oh, we have the spinning circle of depth. Um, that being said, we also have um, our like future sort of, I would say variables or identifiers or what's, what's the word I'm looking for? Modifiers that we're going to add into this project. So we'll have an is favorite and is custom that effectively lets us say, hey, this is a favorite favorited affirmation. So it's one that I really, really like. Or hey, this is a custom affirmation. It's one that I ad added and hand wrote myself. I'm seeing that I'm kind of laggy on stream right now. Can everyone confirm that you can hear me okay? Wi-Fi is all good or am I a little choppy? I had the little thing show up that it tells me like, hey, your Wi-Fi is a little wonky, so I want to make sure that we're all good. We've been having some issues at the apartment, which also sucks. Um, all right. Chat, all can hear me? Everything good? Perfect. Thank you so much. Love it. Love it. That is what I like to hear. Great. Okay. Um, and then we can load into our favorites view, which we made earlier. Um, or which we made last month, which has our affirmations that um, you can kind of display and is a great introduction to what our app looks like. So we have a home menu, um, an add affirmation button, a refresh affirmation, and a favorite affirmation button. Um, and these kind of do different things and we can go onto it when we go into our home view. But at the very least right now, we have a, a favorite affirmation view that right now tells us, hey, you do not currently have any favorite affirmations. Then within add view, we have our, um, and I think this is the view we'll be spending most of our work on. Oh no, you cannot build it and you cannot see it uh, from scratch. You should go ahead and um, clone the repository or, well, if you want to also have a copy of it, fork the repository in GitHub would be my personal suggestion. Um, are you using, uh, what ID are you using? I'll go ahead and try and help you debug. You can only see the preview in Xcode on Mac or in VS Code on Mac if, or in VS Code on Mac with the appropriate plugins. So, add view. We've got, so yeah, as I was saying earlier, we've got our add view. You cannot build it and cannot see the preview. Drop your error in the chat. We'll try and debug it together. 
Um, we've got our out of view, which is where I think we'll be doing most of our natural language processing work this time. And for what I was thinking for the idea behind this app is I want to uh, create affirmation categories. And I'm just writing this down on my little notes. Um, categories based on a tr like a trained NLP model. And the goal behind that is is pretty pretty simple or at the very least not pretty simple, but the goal behind that is, you know, we're using a custom API that has a bunch of different affirmations that are, you know, not necessarily categorized, just a list effectively of affirmations. And so what we want to do is we want to train our NFP model on A, the affirmations that we already have in that um, affirmation bit list, and B, on a host of other, you know, different phrases those positive affirmations will probably also honestly end up making a model. I think it'll be really fun. Um, and then we'll go ahead and be able to train that model based on, um, train that model and sort of categorize different affirmations. So we'll be able to say, okay, this is a work affirmation. This is a school affirmation. This is a relationship affirmation. This is a morning affirmation. This is a nighttime affirmation and things like that. So I think that will be um, sort of the idea behind this project. And so then on the ad view, what I would like to accomplish is as we finish typing our affirmation eventually, what I would like to it, say, it to say is this affirmation will be added to the blank category. Um, so whether that's, you know, work, school, personal, you know, friendship, relationship, children, like family life, Anything like that, um, I think would be really important or not really important, my goodness. Words are hard, my friends. It's been a long day already. It hasn't even been that long of a day. Um, what I was saying is that based on, you know, we'll train our model and we'll say, you know, based on these specific, like thousands of, you know, different affirmations that we looked at, we'll be able to determine, hey, this is a positive affirmation or well, every affirmation is positive, but I'm trying to. I'm struggling to look for adjectives that describe this in a way that I wanted to describe it. But that's kind of the idea that I wanted to focus on for this, um, for this project or for this, um, oh my goodness, for this um, app. So I wanted to add in that like natural language processing training um, and, you know, machine learning training component um, to then fully incorporate it into an application. And so, We've got, in addition to that, kind of walking through some more of the code, we've got our persistence controller, which has um, kind of allows us to change things within specific um, sections of the app. And then we've got our home view, which I'll go ahead and sh really quickly reload for y'all. So as you can see here, when we have our home view, we've got our menu button, which takes us to our menu page here, which lets us see all our affirmations our favorite affirmations and our custom affirmations. It also lets us um, this way go to our favorite affirmations and go back home. Then we also have a, the add view button. Um, and then you can add in your new affirmation here and then save it. We definitely have to, I know, finish on work on like saving because um, I'm pretty sure that was not completed in parts one, two, and three. Then we have a refresh button, which just makes a new call to our API and a favorite button, which currently just kind of highlights the heart um, and saves the um, affirmation. Or actually, no, it looks like it's saving the affirmation as, as, a, as a heart one. So if I go here now, oh no, okay. So it does not like that. That's unfortunate. Okay, can I go home? And then yes, okay, cool. Yeah, so we've got some fun questions in the chat. The first one is which language is better, Swift or Flutter or Kotlin? Personal opinion, I think all of them are great and all of them are important and all of them have their benefits and drawbacks. That being said, I do really like Swift and I have a soft spot for it because it's the first language that I learned. I am linking the Affirmations API for you right now. 
Um, you can access the Affirmations API at affirmations.dev and we'll also look up affirmations.dev API GitHub. I remember this. Yeah, so this is their corresponding GitHub page. Um, I'll go ahead and share this for, with y'all as well. And it has, if you look through, I think it was in, in affirmations James. Maybe Yes, looks like it's about, you know, maybe 40, 50 right now would be my guess, 46. So we'll definitely need more affirmations to kind of train a proper model. So, yeah. No, I'm aware that Flutter is not a language. Same with I like React Native is technically not a language. And I mean, Kotlin is a language, but it's also, you know, it's, it's, it's a little bit more complicated than that. But yes, yeah, so there's, the, there's the API. So this model is unsupervised. So it's actually a fully open source model. It's just run by someone who um, was, you know, inspired and, and is like fully accessible. So um, it's why we used it in part one and kind of, I think, you know, now that we have more opportunity to sort of grow our, our app and grow our learning, we can potentially look into making our own model or expanding on these models a little bit. Um, I think it would be really helpful to, um, you know, focus on that aspect of it, but overall really fun. I'm excited for where this project is going to go, like I mentioned. Um, and so I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what we can build. All right. So I am trying to think of, let's kind of make an action list of, of things that we need to accomplish in order to make this app possible. And I always like to just do this on stream with y'all. Um, so you can see my thought process as to how I actually, you know, develop and, and create applications. So that's a really big part of it too. So, um, that being said, we're actually shameless promo um, incoming, but we're going to be running a stream at I think it's 8 p.m. Eastern today. Yes, 8 p.m. Eastern today. That is going to be all about building your next AI or ML project. And we'll be talking a little bit, you know, about project ideation, figuring out steps, um, determining stories um, or well, stories or, or tasks or action items and everything like that um, at eight o'clock. And, and I'll be diving into that and so much more there. Uh, we might actually do some stuff for Cheerify in terms of planning. I think that would actually honestly be super fun. Um, I was also going to talk a little bit about one of my current semester long projects that I'm working on. Um, but not to get myself super distracted from here, want to go ahead and focus on the task at hand. We're just planning out some of the tasks that we need. So I think the main thing is going to be to create a data set. Ah, I cannot spell apparently. Well, we'll scratch that. So we'll need to create a data set for training. We could also, you know, um, kind of go through that and, and find an open source data set, but we will likely have to tweak it. And then I think we'll actually have to go through and train our data set. For that, what I wanted to do, um, because actually very full circle moment and a slight tangent, but we'll get to what I'm talking about in a second. Um, I'll go ahead and keep our affirmations.dev up here. That being said, um, when I first joined MLH, which at this point was a year ago, I initially, uh, my first like series of, of Global Hack Week streams were I think for Global Hack Week AI ML, was just right, right around the first week of February. And we did this really fun project called Sleepy Time in which we trained a model with Create ML. Um, I was at the time doing 100 Days of SwiftUI and it was a project that I'd done something similar to that. 
where we trained um, a project to determine based on how many cups of coffee you've had um, and how much time you had like your stress levels, what time you should be going to bed that day. Um, and so I thought that was a super fun project and I had a great time with it. Um, and it was, you know, inspired by, by the 100 Days Swift UI tutorial. Um, and I thought it was great. So I kind of wanted to have a little moment, go back to that, but also expand on it, kind of show my own personal growth. Um, oh yeah, it was very fun. You know what? Now I'm going to actually share it because um, I know it's up here. Um, we're going to find it. Positive time testing. Because yeah, those are the files, right? Yeah, so this was that. I wonder if I put sleepy time on a different, if, if I put it on my different, on my, on my other GitHub account. I wonder if that was before I like had that. Oh my goodness. Well, I'm going to not deal with, I'll find it later and I'll drop it in the chat. And if I don't find it, I'll drop it in Discord. I'll drop it in the chat next, next stream. Am I Polish? I am. I am born and raised. Well, born and raised-ish. Moved to the US when I was 13. But um, as I was saying, trying to think, we'll, we'll, we'll go back and look at Shurify because it's kind of important. Um, so we'll, we'll want to use um, create ML for training our data set. That's built into Xcode. And then we'll want to um, kind of incorporate our model. Into Shareify. I think that will be really fun. So those are kind of our big, our big tasks, I think, that we should get done for this stream. So I would like to honestly begin by trying to figure out um, a data set. So well, I think let's do some research together and let's look for affirmation data set with categories. So positive affirmation with tabs. Let's take a look at this. I added a data set of 513 positive affirmations with nine tags such as love, blessing, health. Web scraping with beautiful soup from the website, 500 affirmations. Okay, cool. So this is a potential option. Affirmations online, the biggest affirmations database. This looks like it might not have like a sort of framework slash like use or not use, but it won't have like a good way for us to interface with it. Free affirmations. Okay, cool. AI affirmation generator. This could be a really good, um, this could be a really good Cool. This could be really good for generating like training, training data. Um, so you are a data set of one affirmation spot. Okay, interesting. Mindful daily affirmations, peace of mind affirmations. This I think was affirmation online. We took a look at this earlier. Yes. Cool. So I think honestly this data set by the University of Michigan might be our best bet. Go ahead and I'm gonna stop sharing my screen for a second so I can sign in here with my own email. So y'all can't email me, sorry. Gotta keep safe. Don't wanna drop my email on stream because then you're going to have lots of emails 
all around. Yeah, I think we're looking at the same data set, the positive affirmation with tags. Yeah, this one. I think this is good. Let's see, love, there's love affirmations, health affirmations, beauty affirmations, um, gratitude affirmations, spiritual affirmations, money affirmations, blessing affirmations, sleep affirmations. Cool. Or actually, wait, that, that, that's way more than, than that, that's less than I. Blessing, blessing, money, yep. Ha happiness, there we go. Spiritual, gratitude, beauty, health, love. Cool. So I think I got it downloaded. Let me double check. Nope download it real quick archive open it up don't want to show y'all go into um documents local i'm gonna actually ah eh, come on I'm trying to uh Add my documents folder to my favorites, which is proving to be a bit of a challenge. Also, it's, oh my goodness, there's like no light in my apartment. It's been very frustrating. Documents. Cool. So go ahead and drop it in my documents folder really quickly. So my documents on archive, archive, and then a positive affirmations dot CSV. Great. Don't want to create a spreadsheet right now. I just want to open my positive affirmations list. And then what I want to do is definitely will want to like do some data cleanup from what I saw. So I saw that a few of these might have had um, quotes around them. So Make sure that's not the case. Can I not search this table? Can I not find? I'm trying to find. It's not letting me. Oh, my goodness. Well, it's not. I'm not seeing any um any specific issues here. Um. So I really like this data set. I think it works well for what we need. We might have to, you know, use, um, potentially use some artificial intelligence tools. Oh, what file format is a data card? I'm pretty sure it's a great question. I have no idea. Um, this one is, yeah, this one looks like it's, uh, just a CSV, which should work really well. Um, it looks like this might just be a text file or like a, yeah, it looks like it's just a very plain text file uh, that is looking through all of these affirmations would be my guess. And then it's scraped out into a CSV. Cool. So I think that will be a good place to start for our data. No, 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 no. I don't want to add a pivot table. I don't even know what a pivot table even is. So I want to go ahead and expand the size of this real quick. This is just for me to be able to read things easier. Can I not? Ah, my goodness. Okay, well, you know what? That's fine. So we kind of know what we're doing here. So now what I want to do is um, Try to go ahead and and try and go ahead and train this model, shall we? Yeah, CSV. Thank you for typing out in the chat. Thought I responded to it, but might have not done that super well. So we'll go ahead 
and we'll go to Xcode. Then we will open developer tool, create ML. Go ahead and boot that up. Awesome. Then it opens up our file here. Then it will ask us to create a project to open the previous one. Uh, we'll click new document to get started. Then we want to kind of take a look at what type of training we're going to do here. So we're tagging to classify freezer or chuck of live condition. Be sure you're represented. Yeah, I think tabular classification, right? Predict the category of value of a feature given other features' values. Or would it be, yeah, or maybe text classification. Classify the dominant topic, theme, or sentiment in natural language text. I think that one sounds great. So we'll go ahead and open up that and we'll call it our Cheerify Affirmation Classifier, right? The author's me. No license, no description. We'll deal with that later. And we will go ahead and just create it right in documents. Cool. So we've got our model source here. So our Cheerify classification one. So we want to select our training data. We can go ahead and go into archive and go to our positive affirmation CSV. Ah, we'll need to figure out and relabel it. So we'll go ahead and open positive affirmation with CSV. And instead of affirmation, I think we might want to call it label. So we'll call it label and then um, go ahead and re we'll have to re export it. So file, export to CSV, save, and then I also want to change the typo because it's bothering me. Positive affirmation. Perfect. Then we'll go ahead and uh, swap that out. So we'll, we'll, let me go back to my documents. Positive affirmation, CSV. It's still missing required field label. That's not true. Label. Now can I re-export to CSV? Yep. Yep. No. Oh, and now it exported to it with, with it wrong as well. So with two S's, that's, oh, and then required field text is missing anyway. Ah, my goodness. It's been a while since I've messed around with these things, huh? So let's go ahead and go back to my finder window here. Go ahead and honestly delete all three of these data sources because we do not need them. Right now, oh, perfect. It's telling us expect text organized into folders, named for their class, expect to find folders containing text named for their class. So it's missing required field label and missing required field text. Go ahead and try and fix that real quick. Oh, well, it's telling me it can't be deleted ah, because it's the one past it. So this will be text. Don't want this to be capitalized, please, just lowercase. And I want it to be positive affirmation, please. Um, don't change that on me either. Positive affirmation, file, export to CSV, save, save it in train in documents. I would like to replace it. Yes, please. Select, select positive affirmation. CSV document made it 347 today. Awesome. Then we can delete this file. One or more model sources are using this data source. No, they're not. Yeah, okay, so validation data will be split from training data and testing data will be none. I'm pretty sure. Then I would like to, okay, iterations 10. We could click the train button in the top bar. Have to go ahead and train our model. Let's 
give it a shot. Let's see what happens. Trend. Cool. Okay, so we've got about a 99.8 training accuracy. So tell me, maybe if I type in, I am strong, powerful, and confident. Okay, that's saying that it's pretty confidently beauty. Makes sense, I agree, except there's a typo there, so we'll remove that. Doesn't change it very much, just makes it more beauty. Let's see. Um, I do my best to keep my body happy and healthy. Cool, so that one is saying pretty confident confidently healthy or I make sure to spend quality time with the people I love. Awesome. Cool. Um, let's see. Also, um, I hope to wake up the next day a better person than I was the day before. Something like that. All right. Cool. So it's pretty confidently, you know, ish being able to mark the like the categories of our of our model, which is pretty good. Can I delete this data set? Thank you. So it was able to gather, you know, blessing, beauty, sleep, gratitude, spiritual love, money, happiness, and health um, data. And then, so that now is our trained model for now. So. We can go ahead and I think at this point. File. Output get yes. And so we'll get Cheerify affirmation classifier. Let's just go ahead and save it. Documents. That will be our training. Cool. Sounds good. All right. I think that would be a good time since we've trained our model ish to take a quick break. Um. And, you know, we will figure out what we're going to do with that information right when we come back. I think it'll be really fun. Probably get to, you know, build out some things. Maybe we'll spend next stream, like, trying to improve it. Well, we'll see what next two streams trying to improve it. Next two streams trying to get everything worked together. We'll see what we end up with. So on that note, I'm going to go ahead and take a quick 10 minute break. We'll be back, you know, right after that. Um, and I'm going to also still leave, you know, the ticker that's going around um, and having you ask some questions. Uh, I'm going to leave y'all with a parting question for me. Um, and that is out of all the Global Hacks, Hack Week streams that you've ever been to, which one has been your favorite and why? So feel free to share your answer in the chat. If it's not one of mine, I won't be hurt. I'll just shout out the other wonderful coaches. Um, and staff here at Major League Hacking who do beautiful work with us. And we will be back in about eight, maybe 10-ish minutes. Awesome. See y'all soon.
Alrighty, friends, I think. Oh, my goodness. I said I was going to take a water break, but I didn't drink enough water, and now I'm tired, and now I need more water, so I'll take another water break. Tell y'all to drink water, and then I don't follow my own directions. How oh, silly of me. Alright, well, I we go ahead and figure out how we're going to incorporate all these fun things for our model we just trained directly into figure out because it's been a while since I've set up a project of something along these lines so I want to do it in a way that makes sense we'll probably have to um You know what? Well, I think we'll read out some questions um, or some responses to everyone's favorite global hack week stream. For all, but overall, global hack week was the last open first one during Hacktober Fest, but I was the most active with. It's, that's so fair. I'm getting my feet wet and love the code along sessions. I'm happy to hear that. Enjoying game development sessions the most. Nice. It's my first stream this global hack week. I've been made book catch lives so with my favorite, this one. I love it. My first global hack so every session has been amazing although so many other sessions got postponed yes i am also at 
fault for that. I had to unfortunately postpone my session from what was supposed to be this morning. I had some issues back at the apartment. Um, but we are able and willing and ready and set to do it later tonight instead. So it'll work itself out. Um, taking a look here. So I think we'll be doing most of our work on the odd view here. So that'll be a good start. Definitely need to import core ML. Important helpful framework. And then do we have a, okay, we do have a state bar new affirmation, which starts as nothing. I do want to, we will eventually have to create a function, right? That would make sense. We have to create a function called determine label, determine category. Right, which will be like that, and then we'll have a do, and then a catch. I think that's a good way to format this here. Catch. We'll say we could have a yeah. That's fine. Is there could be an error thrown anywhere here. So then I think we'll also need to add in our ML model configuration. And I'm not actually sure how you do that. So file, let's try to add files to Cheerify. Can maybe when you go into the documents here. You might add it in like this. Cool. So we add it in here. So there's these down here. So they're just hanging out here together. So we will add a few. Oh, no, I closed it. Close that, close that, close that, close that, add view again. And then do maybe let config equal ML model configuration. Cool. That makes sense. Then we'll need let model we try uh, to get cheerify affirmation classifier and the configuration will be config. Cool. Hmm. So cannot find Cheerify Affirmation Classifier in... Oh, I'm glad you're enjoying it. I like this one too. I think it's more lively, more fun. Um, I also spiced it up with the background. We went for the, for the white background today. I normally go for the different ones, but... Cool. I'm gonna look through some of my I'm looking through some of my old documents here. How I did this stuff.
Yeah, so it's saying cannot find Sherify Affirmation Classifier in scope. So let's figure out what the issue is here. My goodness, it is thundering outside. Create ML output get. You don't add in the ML project. Oh, I. you're so right. My goodness. Silly me. That is exactly what it was. I, and I have it too. I exported it. I just added the wrong thing. Um, file. Thank you. Because I totally would have missed that. File. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Add. I found the true file. It's not ML model, but it is. It's it's here. It's, it's ML model. There you go. I missed it. My goodness. That'll do it. Yeah. That That's a little silly, but there we go. You have thunder and I have snow. My goodness, I love snow. Snow was fun. I love snow, actually. Snow's one of my favorites. Like, I love it. I love to hate it. But no, it's like thunder and lightning and like pouring rain outside. So happy I'm not stuck in this. I was like in between streams, I went to the gym and it was very fun, but it like started pouring when I was going back. And I was worried that it was going to pour more, um, that it was going to pour on me when I was like trying to go there. But luckily I missed most of it. And geez, it's coming down. My goodness. Um, yeah. I live in the South for context, Southern US. Okay, cool. So we've got our Cheerify Affirmation Classifier with our configuration. That part looks good. Cool. Then I want to say... I want to let the prediction be a try of model dot prediction with the text being uh, whatever is in new affirmation. Cool. Then what I want to say is then after that, I think what I want to write is maybe we'll create a new place. We'll be like the same thing of how we have down here. I want to make more space for these things, right? Because this is a little crowded. It's the back button, new affirmation. Then I'll do a state bar alert or um, category message will be just an empty string. Then we want to put, I think, oh yeah, we have to fix the hard toggle. That is true. Right now I think it just, it, you can, oh wait, no, it does work. Oops. Well, that's funny. Mm -hmm. I, I'm going to leave that comment there because I'm sure I added it there for a reason. And then, oh, icy is the worst. Ice is scary. We got we got really bad snow here in like an area that's not super used to snow. Um, and the entire city shut down for like seven or eight days. Um, but not the snow wasn't even the bad part because the snow they like were okay at. The bad part was the ice. People do not know how to deal with ice. And to be fair, cars are very bad at driving on ice. Um, I actually, I was at a hackathon in Canada and I had a really bad time driving there because I, while I'm, you know, originally from like a icy snowy area, I did not have a good time driving. It was really hard. Enter your new affirmation and then the label is save affirmation. Then I want to, I think, add in text that says potentially something like, there's that whole section that's like text to cheerify your daily affirmation companion, right? So I want to add in um, save this so saving this affirmation under the then we'll unwrap and 
put category message tag. Cool, right? So that makes sense, except some like of spacing. Right? So maybe potentially what we'll want to say, so if it's empty, right, we don't want it to say anything. So we have already here, um, so if it's, see so what, if it's category message is empty, we want it to say nothing Otherwise, we want it to say saving affirmation to and then unwrapping category message and then category, right? And then what I want to do then, I think, is have the prediction go in here. So we're going to have the model prediction. And then you want to say I think it's uh, category equals prediction dot label. Right? That makes sense. Cool. Because label was what we called the variable on there, so that would make sense like that. But then we have the, the message that says that. And then we'll say category. Yeah, if, otherwise when we have an error, we want to say category message will be we were unable Or maybe we'll just say it's unknown. That could work. I think that would make sense, right? Unknown would make sense for that. Cool. So. Yeah, you can see the output by checking the ML model file. It's auto-generated, right? Yeah, it should be somewhere in here, potentially in preview. I think, although I think of this just puts in the predictions, right? This is my prediction. So it, yeah, this part, you can't exactly see the alpha, but you can see what it spits out. So we'll, we'll go with that and we'll run a quick test on it. Um, and we'll say this is my chance to see if it works. Oh, silly me. You know what we never do? We never, um, we never call, um, we never call, um, we never call the determine category function. So what we could do, I think, is add in a button, right? So maybe something along these lines. So, right, so it'll be like, oh wait, no, that's the button there. So from 73 to 87, we want to say, um, not save affirmation. This is Termin category. And then we want to change this to, instead of plus, I want to use the one in the menu that's used for custom. I think it's the pen, pencil. Cool, pencil, pencil, pencil. Nope. Okay, I didn't change anything. I just went to the wrong one. Pencil, oh. Ah, it's because I'm typing when I haven't selected it yet. Pencil, cool. Determine category. And then here, 
we want to instead call the determine category. So let's give it a shot. I am awesome and I love this project. Let's determine category. Okay, it's mission gratitude category. Sweet. Awesome. Okay. The curiosity, let's see what the uh, training of that is. Nope. Well, apparently that's very gratitude -y. I am awesome and I love this project. Yeah, gratitude 36%, beauty 24%. So yeah, I agree that I think this one is more with with gratitude. So I agree. This is cool. That makes sense. Sweet. So now what I think we'd have to do is figure out how we can save the save the affirmation with corresponding category. And then what I also want to do is do what I always do in, the, in these streams, which is like, you know, mess around with, with the way text looks and and, and try and get it to look nice. So enter your new affirmation. It's that. This would be this. This would be, I also want to add in multi-line text assignment center to her. And let's try, let me see if this is what needs to be done. Cool. Maybe not semi bold then. Just like, get rid of the font weight modifier and see what happens. This is a test of my abilities. Cool. I feel pretty. You are so true. That is so fair. Um, let me do that. And also I feel like we need to train this model a little bit more because I don't think it's coming back with the results that I'm really a big fan of. So we'll go ahead and that is a great point though. I'll definitely do that. I was planning to do that during break, but CD documents, CD verify, get add all, get commit dash M, training R M L our NLP model. Perfect. Get push. There we go. Sweet. Awesome. What did that? Um, so we are good there. What about, ah, uh, let's see. Ah, uh, I'm out of curiosity. What does aha come back That's a Blessing. Cool. Fair enough, I guess. All right. Awesome. Um, so we've got that, I think. I'm trying to figure out what would be a good thing to start that we can do in like 30 minutes. Cause I know we've got a stream right after this too. I'm trying to think what would be a good thing that we can get done in like roughly 30 minutes that would be helpful for us to work on. I don't love the way that this looks right now. Like the saving affirmation blessing category. Like would like to, and, and this is just me being super nitpicky right now. Oh, but wait, 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 wait. Cause this is, this is text. Oh, and then the line limit is three. So that's why it takes up so much space. Oh, can I add in a second spacer maybe? After the, um, after the uh, saving affirmation to blank message. Let's see what that looks like. Oh no, that's that's way too aggressive, right? Help. Let's see. Determine category. Yes, yeah, so that's way too much space in there. So maybe while I'm testing, I can put in test here. See what that looks like. Hmm. 
Maybe we'll just do, go with category like that. See, but I want it to be like, maybe, maybe it needs to live on the bottom of this. Maybe down here. On the, wait. See, then we have this. Right, and then we no longer need multi-line text assignment center. Maybe then with the semi-bold, it makes more sense, right? Where it looks more like the um, other ones. Maybe font then instead of being like footer, and title and all that could be like title three. Maybe even subtitle. Let's arch subheadline. Subheadline works. Cool. And then maybe some padding on either side as well. Get some breathing room. There we go. Delete that. And then I think let's see how you do. Maybe we'll do like that. Let's give that a shot. Let me. me. Okay, cool. Saving the affirmation under blessing category. I think that makes sense. Okay, this this makes sense. I like this a lot. Oh, I started deleting stuff. Not where I meant to delete it from. And honestly, I think it actually made this push up a little bit better. So. Yeah, I think let's try and figure out what we need to get done like on some of my future streams slash what we can get done now. I want to improve our data set. Um, maybe gather more affirmations and affirmation categories. We might have to do something like, you know, web scraping Maybe some uh, AI generated affirmations. That could be really fun. Then we will have to then retrain our data set. And then I think I want to, yeah, we'll have to save all affirmations with categories. new favorites maybe just custom ones and then maybe new ones later or all later And then I think honestly it would be really fun maybe if we could make our own API 
to interface. With Purify instead of affirmations.dev. Honestly, I really like that idea for things that we could start. See, this is my issue is that I always just like dramatic and like big and new and exciting projects, which is also why I wanted to specifically do this as a part of the stream. Because it's like, this will be a great um, Sorry, y'all. One second. Something semi-urgent. Let me take care of this real quick. So this is my biggest issue with, with myself is that I just like exciting projects. And so I knew that I wanted to stick with this one because I thought it would be helpful for us to look at other things and revisit a project. because so that's also a very, very important skill, but I am so easily drawn to new exciting things. And I think making the API might just be the thing that I want. API GitHub. Let's see here. So this is Affirmations API, a tiny API built with Express. Cool. We could potentially uh, go ahead and run. This is affirmations.dev, right? So it runs on affirmations.dev believe. I'm curiosity gonna load up the the back end of this. I think this is fun. I was asked if I was a robot for adding a project. Oh that's that's fun I guess. Never had that happen. Okay. Yeah so I, I want to make something like this. I guess the dad jokes API. Mm -hmm. So it could potentially make a fork of this. So what I'm trying to think of is then, okay, if we were to make our own API, Right, we would need to deploy it on GitHub pages, right? We would potentially need to um, need to deploy on GitHub pages. We would need to like write the actual infrastructure. For API call. I wonder if I could fork the repository and, and go from there. Right. If I were to, if I were to start with this, and then I were to, were to add in all of my affirmations that we got from earlier, I still don't think I can just deploy it as is. Hmm. This is so yeah, because then it's it's not deployed. That makes sense. So we'd need to figure out how to deploy it. So 
of silence. Can I try it? All right, we're trying it. We're gonna see what happens. Okay, so now it's supposedly deploying, which means sense. Cool. Okay. Voice static content images. Okay, I could run the workflow. Workflow run was successfully requested. Deploy starting content to pages. Cool. Then where would I see the page? Out of curiosity. And then also like, would it even do anything? That's what I'm wondering. For your workflow file. And URL, right? How do I get the URL of a GitHub page? It's a great question. Okay, it's appointments. GitHub pages two minutes ago. Okay, yeah, so it's saying that it does not have it. We don't know whether that's an error or whether it's just something that's intentionally weird. Yeah. No, I found it. We, we found it, but I'm just, it doesn't work. And I wonder if it's because this website is too complicated, right? Because it's just in act pages right now, right? In actions. Going static content to pages workflow, right? And I'm just, I'm not sure whether that's enough, you know? Interesting. Yeah, it might just take a few seconds to load. I agree. We might have to give it a minute. Um, I think that was a great time for a water break then. Let's give it a minute or two. Oh, hopefully, checked on some things, so we're good there. We'll give it some time here. We've got all of these up. We've got our app. Pushed our changes. We're good. We will have to. I will also make a note. So I've got I've got some homework before our stream on on. For our stream on Tuesday, I've got some homework. Write that down. Tuesdays, and we'll hopefully get it accomplished. Tuesdays stream. I want to update the README.
to include current progress licenses, etc. Then I want to um, check on GitHub pages, deployment, for API, potentially, yeah, no, you're so right. That's what I'm thinking right now. I don't think it'll work either. It was worth a shot. So I'm, what I'm thinking is we're gonna have to we're gonna have to go about it a little bit more intensely than than just yeah than just trying this, um, which is fine. I'll just I'll have to take a stab at it, um, and I'll probably just start a new repository. So start. with affirmations because then I'm also thinking that we'll be able to add in that issue that I had where like favorites weren't saving and customs weren't saving um, initially from January y'all probably don't remember this because why would you I'm just trying to pull down so I can like make our own API at this point I think is the way to go so but I just don't we don't have enough time and I definitely need to do more research on this topic, which is perfectly fine. So here is, I think my plan of action. Personally. So let's chat. So I think what we'll do is I'll do some homework before tomorrow's stream. Tomorrow's stream is taking place at three, 4 p.m. Eastern. Yep, yep, 4 p.m. Eastern, cool. Got some downtime in the morning and afternoon, and also potentially not, not a lot of downtime today, sadly. But we could also use the stream, I think, on, we'll use part of the stream today to at 8 p.m. to try and figure out um, like aspects of your next AI ML project. I think that'll be really fun to like talk about it in the lens of Cheerify. Um, that being said, um, yeah, so I think that makes a lot of sense there. So we'll, I'll, I'll get to do some of my, my homework during my stream today, which is awesome. Figure out how to deploy pages on APIs, potentially starting a repository of affirmations, definitely starting a repository of affirmations, because that would be helpful. And then I think in addition to that, we'll be able to revisit tomorrow with kind of a clear vision and a better idea in mind for how we want to proceed. I think that is a good plan, honestly, folks. Um, we are right on time-ish. We've got about 15 minutes remaining. That being said, I'm going to stay on for another five or so minutes to help y'all answer any questions, talk about anything we might need. i um, going to thank you for joining now while we're here. Um, I had a great time hanging out with y'all and an overall positive experience and a good stream, which I'm glad, but a little rusty, uh, but it definitely is still good to be back. So I'm happy to be here. Happy to be joining you for Global Hack Week. Thank you so much for coming. Yeah, they are. It's not about, it's not about, um, they are able to do it and um, there's tons of different ways to do it. It's kind of just the case of like, I need to figure out how to do it. I don't do a lot of web development. I've never actually made my own API, um, which is fun. And I guess a sneak peek for API week coming in April, catch me making more APIs in April. Maybe we'll revisit Cheerify again. Um, and then we'll have just a great time like that. So yes, thank you so much for coming y'all. It was lovely to hang out with you. And I will see you all, uh, for those of you who are able to make it, in just two short hours. 
well, we will be doing, I guess, some of my homework now and planning on my live stream um, and sort of talking about your next AI ML project and how you would go about doing that. We'll just have a little sit down, more of a chat, casual session. And then you can find me same time tomorrow for part two. So I look forward to seeing you all there. Like I mentioned earlier, you can stay on for another minute or two for questions and then go ahead and prepare the next set of streams. That is a very loud bird that I can hear from like my peripheral, peripheral. There we go. Awesome. Well, it looks like we're done on questions, which is perfectly okay. Like I mentioned earlier, thank you all very, very much for coming. It was lovely to hang out with you. And I look forward to seeing you and the rest of our wonderful Global Hack Week friends over at my next stream. And make sure you stick around for more streams coming later this week. Bye, everybody.